Pennsylvania, like many other colleges, asked students to leave campus in an effort to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, don't go away, radio audience. This should be interesting. The goal for Bennett Compost is to make composting simple for people who live in the city. I personally wanted to compost, and I was living in a second floor apartment in South Philly at the time, and so I didn't have any outdoor space to do it, and so I was trying to figure out, well, how, how can I compost myself? I feel like this is something I should be doing, I feel like it's a good thing, and I looked around and didn't see kind of whether there was something like that out there, and so I thought maybe Maybe there is a, a business to be had here. Going out, sometimes early in the morning, sometimes kind of a little bit later in the day, and going out in a vehicle or a bike and emptying buckets of food scraps uh, into larger containers that then we can bring back here to, to actually be composted. Um, and it's not, it's not necessarily glamorous, and it's, it's you know, it, it's dirty, and it's, you're outside, so when it's freezing cold, it's freezing cold, and in the summer when it's 95 degrees, it's hot and stinky, and, and it's all of those things. Collections can be from, you know, uh, 70 stops to 200 stops, depends the day. Put it in a bag, put it out, someone takes it away, right? And like that, it just goes away. And it doesn't really just go away, but from the, you know, the individual's perspective, it just disappears. Like, and, and what, that's so, that's so easy. Like, why should we make it harder to do the, the responsible thing or the environmentally, uh, you know, correct choice? Yeah, I was in a movie. Put that on the resume. Now I'm in a doc. All right, I got it. I got Eventually, there will actually be the whole actual processing. The initial stage of the processing will happen along this fence. We really just focus on marketing toward our customers, like our collection customers. Mostly because that's all we've done so far, and like this part of the business is newer than the collection customers, but it feels it feels right to do that. I mean, it's their, it's their scraps. Like it feels kind of right to like keep it keep it local. The product part is such a small, you know, it's, it really is mostly a hauling company. 
Um, but but this end is growing too. We're 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 learning. We're getting our systems in place, and then when that when that juncture comes, we'll expand. My vision is that everyone who wants to compost can do it in Philly, and, and there are no financial barriers. There's no stigmatization around composting. These are worms. They were just fed this morning, so they're not right up at the top because they have a fresh layer of food on there. But as I dig down, you'll be able to see them crawling around. I'm super happy. As we've grown and kind of like expanded, we've just invested in the people who work here because I think having better options for our employees only helps the business. So it kind of aligns, it aligns what I think we should be doing with what is actually good for the business. It takes away some of the difficulties in decision making because, you know, it's, it's my kind of incentives are aligned. I never did this type of work before, so it's very different. Um, the money's good. The time is good, like flexibility, like, you know. You know, uh, all good about everybody come to do their job every day. I didn't like it at first, and then it took me a bit to get hang of it, and I've been here about what, five, we're going on my sixth year now. It's not as bad as you think it is. It stinks, but you get over that quickly in this business, as far as I can see. I'm just going back down this block in two buckets. People are always like, well, why should I pay for composting if I can do composting myself? And I often say, if you can do composting yourself, by all means, do composting yourself. Like, that, that is the ideal solution to do it by yourself. But also, like, there's lots of things you can do yourself, and you have to, we all make decisions with our time, right? I mean, you can make coffee for yourself every morning, and yet millions of people go out and buy coffee every day. <sighs> I needed that one. I really needed that one. There's just so much gratitude for like the fact that like people want this service and our city doesn't provide it yet and that we do. So I mean that just feels it feels so good. Compost coming to get you. I don't personally believe that the solution to how we manage our organics is to have one solution for everybody. There is a lot more the city can do, but I think that's partially why we wanted to work with the city and like we're in partnership with them to develop a permit to allow more of this scale of um, processing and composting to be done. So I really think this model, I really think the scale is the way, like us or smaller, like community scale or this way is kind of proven to be like a great method of dealing with organics. There have been several, uh, examples of dealing with it on a large scale and then the large scale fails and then where does all that go? Like you're, it's better to be kind of uh, diversified and not have kind of every, all your eggs in one basket, right? If you will. Yeah, I think Philadelphia, you know, we're getting there slowly. <laughs> we're getting there. But, but there is, there's a lot of momentum from the ground and um, that's exciting. I definitely feel good about what I do. Definitely really good about what I do. I think we making a small dent, you know, but I see the bigger picture. So small now, but 10 years, who knows? We could be running the world. I don't know. Business is growing every month. Like, you know, I do routes where it's like I have 170 stops a day. Successful, man. Bro, man, I'm happy, man. We're at 90 fucking 4%. This is when I screamed, but I got in trouble for screaming once, so we're not going to do that today. <laughs> done, baby! Woohoo! That's it, man. I get excited when we're almost done. 
Cause we're done, man. Life is good. Life is good, man. It's amazing to me how much food we truly waste. Like, you don't realize that till you get in here and it's like, damn, we waste an awful lot of food. Like, and not even knowingly, you know what I mean? It's just second nature because that's all we've been taught our whole life. So now, if we can teach, okay, let's let's put it all, I know we taught this way, but maybe we should all start putting it in the bucket. If we all did that, I'm telling you, it couldn't be no issues because it's, it's all beautiful. It, it, it starts nasty, but it makes it beautiful, and I love that.